Hey ladies and gents, Schemer them here with another episode of Let's Play Metal Suit. Here's all of the Twin Snakes Blind. And I gotta say... <laughs> screw! Whoever came up with this whole cross the map, get sent back thing. So it's kinda lame. I discovered a very, very easy way to get across and uh, not get spotted. Kind of circle around that little rock over there and then keep to the left side and everything. So, you know that reminds me. Uh, is Meryl accessible at all? No? Well, what about Alakon? If you go straight down the underground passageway north of the cave, you'll arrive at the communication towers. You should be able to go over the glacier by using the communication towers walkway. Head for the towers. Fair enough. Okay. I should let that guy pass before I do try anything. So back into stealth again. Yay! No more button mashing man. Button mashing man has now become stealth man. Go stealth man, go. Oh boy. This is the adventures of Solid Snake, Stealth Man. I say that as I continue on my run where I kill most of the enemies anyway. Well, that was simple enough. And the elevator didn't take too long this time. Basement 1 it is. Basement 2 is where Otacon was, right? Yeah. Alright. This is so fun. Backtracking. Going through old areas. Yeah. I gotta say, I do enjoy the story of this game, but it seems like a lot of the gameplay is a little padded. I just remembered something. Uh, no, never mind. I was thinking of the level six, a level six security door, but I don't know. I should probably pull out the M9s again. That's what I did to go through here earlier. Is I used the M9 pistols to avoid getting hurt too badly by the by the uh, wolf dog there. There's one there, and then there's one around the corner. Plus I can pick up extra bullets. And... I like how if they're unaware, you can... Ah, that was the puppy. I scared the puppy away. No! Oh well, I'm not gonna hurt the puppy. It was fun to pull out the sniper rifle earlier, but then the dogs kind of annihilated me, so. And here I am again. <sighs> this is not unfamiliar at all! And there's still the bloodstains from Meryl. Ew. Oh god. Oh god. out of war. Snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. 
Hmm. Some heavy shit there. Kodak. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. No. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. It's like just fine, you mean shot in three of her limbs. Meryl. Stop liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This no. is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Um, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Hmm. Naomi. I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Oh boy. I, I smell some lying there. Oh, that's right. I forgot that you can control with the D-pad. It's kind of cool. Hang on, I want to check something real quick. Plan your strategy based on the enemy's. P Whatever. Never mind. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep on doing this now. Let's see. Hmm. I guess there's just a long, narrow corridor, and it's not clear how tall that is, or if there's even a ceiling in here. Okay. I just got really, really lucky. Okay. Snake, there's a bomb planted in your items. Hurry, throw it away. Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough. What? Bomb? 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 Bomb. Um. Oh. Oh gosh. Um. That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that. That deep throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade. I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. I'm leaning Gray Fox, honestly. Based on the fact that he actually helped us. But I, I suppose I could be wrong on that. Hang on, let me let me double check to make sure there aren't any special messages. What's up, Snake? Oh well. I might as well save. My first mid-game save, and besides it's 
I'm keeping multiple saves for yeah. I, I, my playtime shut up by like five hours because I had the game on the entire time that I was waiting for the plumber to finish and everything. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Old time is still a flying, and this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. Snake, laughter is the best medicine. You should be happy you've got enough free time to play a game. Enjoy yourself, okay? Okay, Meryl. I love how they treat the fourth wall in this game. Like, the game completely takes itself seriously, but at the same time, just flirts with the fourth wall. Constantly. And that's clearly a door that I can't open, or go through, or anything, so... And I can actually go through- oh! Huh? <laughs> well, that's that's something new. I guess I'm switching discs now. I didn't expect to be able to do this in the middle of a part. I wonder if this will work differently because of the Wii, though. So there we go. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna probably want to have... I'll pull this out, just in case. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, pull it back out, you fool. I'm kind of disappointed that the, uh... Rocket Watcher has it been useful. Well, that was interesting. Didn't look like that was supposed to happen. Okay, I'm killing a lot of them. Gotta reload sometime. Seriously, though? Ah, so much death! All that for a ration? Okay. Hope you get ahead of tonight, you bastard. Well, this is... You know what, I've got the rations, but I'm just going to go up the stairs and keep going on my merry way. Because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do anyway. They're chasing after me at a good pace though. How far up does this go? Okay, I'm so glad I have the ration for that though. Why didn't I think of the stun grenade before? Oh great, what now? Snake, that's the door to the walkway. It won't open, even if I use the card. Huh? 
Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Do you know something? That door sometimes gets frozen shut because it's so cold outside. Next time, really? tell me beforehand. So what should I do? It's impossible to open from the inside. They always used C4 or something from the outside. From the outside? You can't open it from the inside? Sorry, it's impossible. But don't worry, you'll get through. There are two walkways that connect Tower A and Tower B. The other one's on the roof. You should just use the walkway on the roof. Oh, is that all? That's lovely. Snake, keep going and just keep the ration going. Okay, that slowed that guy down a little bit, and come on. Really? <sighs> I'm getting really tired of this. <sighs> I'm so glad I have the rations equipped. I hate these guys so much. This guy's freaking fast, too. Okay, how far up is the roof? Because this is getting really, really stupid. Snake, get the fuck up. Get, your, get up. Ah. <sighs> I think the idea is you're supposed to. Be, I'm wondering if the idea is you're supposed to run through here with the ration. Okay, so this is the roof. Choices are there. Also, I can't help but notice that the guards disappeared. <sighs> okay. So I'm calming down. 27th floor. I just went up 27 floors. There's a ladder right there. Durr. Fair enough. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to cut this short. I'll see you guys next time on Metal Gear Solid: The Twin Snakes, where we will continue into disc two.